Hello guys, welcome to the quarantine school. My name is Tanish and let's start with the next chapter of determinants. So, just a second, let me arrange myself. Okay, so determinant part 2. Uh, if you have missed the part 1, you have to go and check it out. It's really important. Uh, go check it out because like uh, most of the things are actually based on part 1. So, after the basics are clear, these things would be a little more easier. So, today's video is actually really important. I want you guys to stick with me. It's a really uh, a bit hard. So, come on, let's go through it. Okay, first of all, now in the last lecture, I had told you how to find the value of a determinant, right? Uh, just a second, let me take out the pen. Okay, so last lecture, I told you first write this number, ij, like, uh, and I, yeah, I recognize that in last lecture the ij was missing, so I'll write it once again here. So that should be a i j is equal to minus one raised to i plus j. Okay, hmm. yeah, very cool. So, uh, a i j first we'll write that and then minus 1, sorry, I forgot to write a i j once again. <laughs> These i and j's are actually quite close enough, so nothing important. Uh, yeah, so uh, last lecture I told you that first write this number, then i j 1 1, that's an even, so minus sign would be ta da bye bye. And then multiplying these two numbers minus these two numbers. And then you'll, uh, that is just for one. Then for second step, this, uh, removing this column, this number, this number, this number here, and these. And we'll find out the value. But that was a trick only for small numbers, okay? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and stuff like that, which you can do quick multiplication, okay? But what about these large numbers? These are like years 1997. 1998, 1999, 2002, 2007, 2001. What about these large numbers? So it is really hard to calculate these stuff, right? So, uh, hum log abhi ek, ek dam quick simple trick batata uh, You would be able to solve this question at the end. Uh, like you can just come back and check it out to solve this. Uh, you can go through all the steps, but I'll tell you the answer right away. Very easy answer equals to. And the answer is, drum rolls, the answer is zero, anda, with a smiley face. Okay, so that's just time pass. Okay, so the value of this determinant is actually zero. We'll just remove this stuff out. Uh, it is zero. So now, how would, how did we get it zero? So just stay with me. I'll tell you in the next few slides. Okay, so uh, it's very important that you should remember these few properties. They should be by heart and always there in your head because uh, these properties are used everywhere, everywhere in your determinant solving. Okay, so the first is, okay, so let's start with property one. So what does property one say that the rows and columns remain unchanged if the rows and columns are interchanged? Okay, this is a little... A uh, confusing statement, but let me tell you what it actually means. Like here, if you go to one row or any column, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so now we converted rows into columns and columns into rows. Okay, so now what happened that 1, 2, 3, which was written horizontally, now we write it vertically, 1, 2, 3. Then the value of the determinant remains same. Okay, it does not change, it remains same. Because anyways, you know, like just uh, you can find this value at this way as well. The value of determinant, you can find it like this also. Whereas this means the same. Like there's not a big deal. Uh, I have taught this in last class, right? So it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Uh, nothing really important. Uh, first priority, easy peasy. Okay, let's go to property two. Okay, so that was the first property. Now let's start with the second property. Okay, so what does the second property say? If two rows and columns are interchanged, then the sign of the determinant change. Okay, now if any two rows and columns are changed at once. Okay, I'm not saying that change it twice and then the sign would uh, 
uh, change to minus. It's not like that. Change it once, then the sign changes. The uh, sign changes. Change it once again. Rows and columns. I mean, shift the rows and columns. The sign changes again. It's a little hard to understand, guys. But once you look at the example here, uh, it would be super easy. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Okay, same deter uh, same determinant as last time. Now let's take the value of this determinant as x. I'm not uh, finding out the value. Uh, you guys can try it. Okay, so if the value of this is x, let us change c2 and c3. Okay, that means this column and this column. Let's change these both. Let's replace them with each other. So we have just changed it. Okay. Then what can we see? One, four, six, three, six, eight, and two, five, seven. Then the value of this determinant would be minus x. Okay, value of this determinant would be minus x. What would it be? Minus x. So, uh, sorry, uh, value of this determinant would be minus x. Uh, now let's go to property three because this was also easy. Now uh, here we have seen the example of c two and c three. We can also write r one and r two like changing these two, and then r three and r two. Uh, sorry, r three and r two. Then exchanging these both. But the thing that is interesting in all these is that uh, the thing that is really interesting here is that. Here we can see that C2 and C3 has been changed. So uh, the value was earlier x, and now the value is minus x. Then now the value of this determinant is minus x. What if we change again C1 and C3 of this determinant here, uh, the second determinant? Then what do you think would be the value? What do you think? Think, think, think. Come on, I want answers. Not that stupid. It's not even pagal ne ho tum log. Okay. So uh, the value of this determinant would again change back to x. Okay. So the more number of times you change, the more number of times the sign changes. For example, you change it once, value of determinant minus. X. If you change it twice, value of determinant plus x again. So the even number of time you change it, it's the answer remains same. The odd number of time you change the rows or columns. Then the value becomes negative of the original value, and there is no mod and uh, mod what type of stuff. Okay, ऐसा कुछ होता नहीं है इसमें. Okay, now property three, property three, property three, property three. So the property three is if two rows or columns are same, then the value of the determinant is zero. Now in this determinant, we can see that one four six, one four six. The both the columns have same values. Hence, we can say the value of this determinant is zero. Okay, now you can go back to the first question at the really starting of this video. Go back, check it out. You can see that two columns are same. Like in this, two columns are same. In that question, I guess two rows are same. I don't know. I'll have to check it back. So we can clearly say that the value of that determinant is zero. So these are short tricks, uh, short tricks that we guys can use to find the value of any determinant. Now, property four. It's a little important property. Let's start. In matrices, uh, we had seen that if we multiply two to this matrix, you can see that this is a matrix. Okay, uh, as I had told you in the very first video, like agar aisa danda bahar nikla, agar ye si dandi bahar nikli, that means this is a matrix. This is not a determinant. It's a matrix. So in matrix, if you write Two outside. That means you have to multiply it to each and every row or column. Okay, each and every row or column. So this forms two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve, fourteen, eighteen. So as you can check it with this, it is the same thing. But in determinants, things get a little different. So we can see that there is no danda coming out over here. Hence, uh, this is uh, a determinant. Okay. So in determinant, if we write two outside. This two can be removed from any row, particular sorry, any particular row or any particular column. Okay, any particular row or any 
particular column you cannot say like here i can see two here i can see wait i'll give you a nice example okay now this is a different stuff imagine there is another matrix over here in which this is a multiple of two this is a multiple of two and this is a multiple of two okay these three values then you cannot write two outside in that case okay you cannot so the answer to this determinant can be two four six four five six six seven nine that means we have multiplied this two only in this first column okay this can be multiplied to the second column can also be multiplied to the third column or row one row two or row three as well okay but many a piece of ek example yeah uh tum look at us some push because of the you can do a lot of stuff because it's like a complete uh universe like chitna kar paoge utna kar lo bhai bas macha kya ho okay so property five property 5 it's kind of easy kind of difficult as well so let's start if element of any row or column are zero okay if all the element i have missed out the word all over here if all the elements of any row or column are zero then the value of determinant is zero because zero into these two numbers zero into these two numbers and zero into these two numbers again so answer to zero ya na zero into zero to infinity hota hai yaar pagal pagal ho kya प्लस X Y Z and then D E F uh, H I J, sorry G H I. So in this case, that these two values remain same. I mean, these six values remain same, but because of this plus, uh, we can separate uh, in them into two different determinants. Okay. Now let's take an example. Like I can't mention it in this slide. So let's go back to property four. I guess yeah, property four. so we can also write this determinant as 1 2 3 1 2 3 3 4 5 and 9 plus the next determinant as 1 2 3 1 1 1 and then 6 7 9 okay so this way you can again it is easier for you to solve the value of determinants so go ahead do whatever you want to do man just don't trouble your mother it's not big boss okay so today we'll end up with this uh, only this much uh, that's it uh, this video was short because the next property is really important it would take a lot of time uh, so see you in the next class bye okay so guys aaj ka liye hum yahi khatam karenge we i'll see you in the next video cuz uh, there are few more properties jo bahut important hai uske andar bahut zyada concentration lagega main tumko book pe proper explain bhi karunga ppt to rahega hi aur hum next uh, video mein questions solve karne wale questions a lot of questions so uh, stay tuned like share subscribe share with your friends cheerio